Hello, dear friends. You know, lately I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. I have many friends, but at the same time, I don't have a truly real best friend. What can I do? Where can I get one? Where can I find one? What to do? I keep thinking and thinking, but I don't understand why this is happening to me. Maybe I should whistle through the window and call somebody's attention. Or go for a walk and meet someone on the street. Or maybe ask the neighbors, where is my best friend? Oh, nonsense. I just have to think a little bit harder. Oh, I got it, wait for it. Well guys, I believe I just found an awesome solution to my problem. Long story short, if you're also feeling lonely and bored, then we can make together a real friend with our own hands. Perfect, right? I've been thinking who I want as a friend, and I think I got it, a big bear. And to create it, I just need some mighty powder and some mighty slush. I'll be making a big bear to play all kinds of games with him. So, are you ready? Are you with me? If you're planning to watch and sculpt your own bear later, then pay attention and memorize everything. And if you want to follow my lead, then run to the kitchen and don't forget your tablet or phone so you can watch and repeat after me. For starters, take a bear mold, the biggest you can find out there. Now pour some water into it as much as you can. That's right, all the way up. I've done the math and it's a little something around a one liter of water. So our giant bear will be made using a special ancient technology. And for that reason, we need this boggy fluid. Well, well, I'm gonna open it and give it a try. So it tastes sweet and feels like honey. Hmm, but it's not honey at all. Yeah, right, it's not anything like honey. So guys, have you guessed what this is? If you don't have anything alike in your kitchen, then your bear will be a little different. But fear not, wait a little bit longer and at the end of the video I'll tell you the name of this interesting stuff we're using. So, we are gonna dissolve it in water. It actually looks like liquid glass to me. What do you think? Well, let's try to mix it with cold water and dissolve it. Dissolve it in water. I'm saying dissolve. No, no, I think the receipt is wrong. It's not dissolving in cold water at all. Well, it is already there, so somehow it will work. Let's continue. The next thing we need to give life to our bear is strawberry jelly. So, let's take it. Open and pour it out. Pour, pour, pour. My God, when will it end? Phew, that's it. We hardly made it. So, let's mix it all up and add some of that mighty powder. If you know what this is, then like the video. And if you don't, then you'll have to wait a little bit to find out. But something's missing, don't you think? I know, let's add a little bit of red dye. That's perfect, I think. By the way, if you don't want a red bear, then add dye of the color you like the most. I just love red. So, stir and stir. I feel like a witch cooking a bear monster. <laughs> so, it's time to go to the stove and turn it on. Turn it on, I said. Looks like something's wrong with my hands today. I can't seem to get things right. Yeah, there you go, finally. Place a big pot in the stove and pour our mixture into it. Stir and dissolve the jelly and the mucus-like slush. Ready? Oh, it's really hot. Ay ay ay, we need to take this to the table. So, let's take a kitchen board and place our bear mold on it to keep the table clean. So, pour it out. Well, as usual, board or no board, our liquid bear is now all over the table. So guys, I still have a little bit of this magic liquid, so let's make some baby bears too. Take the mold with the little bears and pour some liquid into it with the help of a spoon. And yeah, remove the foam from the liquid or your bear will not be as beautiful as ours. So we are done with the liquid. Now let's take our bear and his little brothers to the refrigerator and give them some time to freeze in there. Let's see how our friend is feeling. Let's take him out. The jelly is set and now it's time to take him out very carefully. Otherwise you might lose an ear or a paw. You want to start by the edges. Um, I'm being careful and it's still tearing apart. Let's try from the other side. And from here. Come on, get out. Well, I can't wait any longer. Hooray, there he is. In my opinion, the bear looks awesome. It's really soft and transparent. 
pretty cool. I really like it. So, guys, do you like him? Oh, I almost forgot about our little baby bears. Let's take them out of their mold. So, once again, we have to be very careful. Oh, what is going on? The head has fallen off. That's really sad. After all that effort to make them, right? Well, it's nothing. I can always create some more. So, the little bear is headless, but it has a very detailed belly. But still, without a head, it's not the same. But, well, given that it's already crippled, let's see how it tastes. Well, it tastes... not very good, actually. So, let's take another one out. No, it's not working out. They don't want to get out. There must be some way to take them out fast. Oh, I got it. I just have to pour some hot water into the mold. Let's see what happens. Guys, I just use hot water to take them out and see what's left of them. I think I miscalculated a little bit. Boiling water wasn't the best idea. <laughs> Look, they're all beautiful, greasy and sweaty. Hmm, so this craziness is coming to an end. The little bear sculptures using our recipe ended up being soft and transparent, but tasteless. Do you have any idea what happened there? I believe the reason is the mighty liquid glass I used to make them, remember? Well guys, this slush is known as corn syrup. If you guessed it, good for you. And yeah, the bears are also very gluey. Throw them and you'll see. Fun, right? Hey, did you hear that? Something's rustling. And where is the big bear, by the way? Something's not right. Don't you remember by any chance where I put him? I took him out of the freezer and from the mold. Look, it's lying there. So, I have to concentrate and remember. Think, think. Hey, you hear that? Again, some weird noises, and I think they're coming from under the table. Here he is. And what's he doing here? Ah, oh, guys, did you hear that? Is he trying to say something? Let me go. What do you mean, let me go? I created you. You're mine now. I am mine. Mine. Now listen up, you bear. Don't show off. So, if you can speak now, then you need a name. Hmm. You will be Barry the Bear. Nice and simple. No need to overthink it. But I've never heard of speaking jelly. Anyways, guys, this is my friend, the talking jelly bear. And why are you so surprised? You created me yourself. Now suffer, you weirdo. Keep quiet, bear. You now have to be my friend and I need to think of what I'm going to do with you. Yeah, I think I got it. You're going to be in my videos and I'm going to make different experiments with you. What do you say? Wait a sec. Don't touch me. I don't deserve it. Yes, you do, Barry. You have nowhere to go. But wait. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. Like what? Do you want me to eat your ear or your paw in exchange for something? What is wrong with you? Help! Quiet, Barry. I got it. For every experiment, I will give you a candy. What do you say? And what is candy? I haven't tried that. Wait, let me show you. So, what do you think? Mmm, tasty. Listen, I think I'm ready to be part of your experiments. But you will have to buy a lot of candies, more and more. And it will hurt? I don't know, but we'll find out. But I have more jelly in my kitchen, so if something goes wrong, I can fix you any time. Well, okay, I'm up for it. Now, give me another candy. But I haven't made anything with you yet. Give me, give me. And lift me up, would you? Sorry, one moment, but I think you've had enough candies for today. Gimme, gimme! At least for all the time I've been on the floor. Hmm, looks like someone's an insolent pushy bear. There you go. Mmm, yummy. You're a real friend. So guys, I've made a jelly bear, and now he's going to be showing his big red face in all of my videos. Write in the comments below what we should do for the next time. What should I do with the bear? What experiment would you like to see? That's all for today. I'll be waiting for your advice and you'll be hearing soon from us. Bye-bye.